What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we are going to break down the 2023 Alfro Male Tonale trim levels because you know you guys are awesome and send me things like these PDF files and like these brochures and everything of these Maserati Alfro Male and Ferrari models. So thank you so much. Today's source actually comes from someone who sent me something from Sport Auto which I'll link down in the description below and the Auto Pieti forum, which is always great for insider news on things like these Italian cars. Now, with that said, we need to talk about what's going on with these four different trim levels because we still don't know everything about the Alfa Romeo Tonale. And as it starts to go on sale in different regions, well, they're doing different presentations, which gives us sort of grainy photos and, you know, kind of screenshotted stuff from these different presentations to give us here in the United States, especially some insight on what the Tonale will be all about since we don't receive it here in the States until January of 2023. Now we should see hopefully Hopefully by the end of next month, a little bit more detail on these brochures and we'll go over it in full detail. But until then, let's talk about what we do know. We are looking at four different trim levels for the Alfa Romeo Tonale, excluding the Edizione Speciale, which can be ordered now. And we've already been through what's special on that. No pun intended. But with that said, first is the sprint level trim, all right, which is the entry level, the gateway to the Alfa Romeo world, as they would say it. And now we know everything that comes with it, like the exterior, interior, safety features, and comfort features. So we're looking at a Vesuvio gray model here with the grain body kit, the Alfa Scudetto silver finishing, the honeycomb front grills, the body color door handles, the glossy black mirror caps, the full LED front and rear lighting, the shark fin antenna, and the 18 inch silver alloy wheels. As you guys can see, those models spied that we saw before that are not the tri-LED lights come on the Super and Sprint trim. So you can see in the diagram here that it is actually those headlights that we have not yet seen in the flesh yet because Alfa Romeo has just been showing models with the fully spec full matrix LED headlamps. Now let's talk about the interior. Inside you get black cloth seats, you get the spray dashboard, you get the techno leather steering wheel, the front central armrest, 60-40 rear folding seats, and the black ceiling. Now the safety features included on the Super is cruise control, auto and high low beam, AEB with vulnerability road users, LSS, LDW, and LKA, and ISA with traffic sound recognition, rear seat alert, and driver drowsy detection. Now comfort features include the 12.3 inch full TFT instrument cluster, the 10.2 inch touchscreen head unit, the Alpha Connect services, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, dual zone climate control, the manual adjustable seats, and the keyless go. So that is your super, that is the standard trim that is the basic model you can get into when we're talking about the Tonale. Now, I'd be interested to see the exact price of this model as is. We'll know more soon. Now, keep in mind that the U.S. never got the Super Trim on the Julia's or Stelvio's. So this is what we might be looking at, the Sprint. All right, so for us, this was the entry-level model for the Alfa Romeo lineup, and it could be the same on the Tonale. And Alfa Romeo says that the Sprint Pack is the sporty affordable. All right, so as we can see it here, it's in Alfa Rosso. Now, you guys notice, now what do we get on the exterior? Well, the Alfa Scudetto grille is done in a dark finishing. You get the carbon and leather red seats with red stitching, sporty leather steering wheel with start button, rear armrest with sky pass, and the front floor mats. Safety features are ACC, which is adaptive cruise control, front and rear parking sensors, and traffic sign information. And for the comfort features, 10.2 inch touchscreen head unit with navigation system, wireless charging pad, electric four-way lumbar driver's seat adjustments, keyless entry, puddle lights, electrical folding mirrors, and the electronic rear view mirror. So this all adds on to what you would get on the Super. Now, if we don't get the Super here in the United States, this is what we'll start at with everything that's already on the Super here in the North American market. Then we bump up to the TI. Now, Alfa Romeo describes the TI as the distinctive high end, but now you will see that we have our full tri-LED headlamps on this model. So that's the big exterior change you'll notice right off the back. But the TI comes with, on the exterior, the glossy dark body. So you'll notice that your body kit, like right under the front bumper, the wheel arches, 
and the rear as well as the side skirts are all done in a glossy finish on the body to where the Super and Sprint were in a matte lacquer finish. You also get a TI badge on the fenders, the full LED headlamps, and your diamond cut alloy wheels. Now for your interior, you get carbon cloth and leatherette seats with the base stitching, the PU dashboard with base stitching, sporty leather steering wheel with start button, ambient lighting, which is RHD included, front and rear floor mats, and rear armrest with sky pass. Then you have your safety features like ACC again, front and rear parking sensors with backup camera and traffic sign information. Now you also have comfort features like your 10.2 inch touchscreen head unit with navigation. You also have your wireless charging pad and your rear USB plugins, type A and type C for your USB, electric four-way lumber driver's seat adjustments, keyless entry, power lift gate and hands-free function, puddle lights, and your electronic side mirrors and rear view mirrors on the inside. So that will be your TI model. Now we go to the top spec, the Veloce trim. This is called the Sporty High End. Now for the Veloce pack, again, it adds everything that you would have on the previous model, but with a little bit more flair. All right, so for the exterior, your Veloce specific grill. You also have your dark meat on body kit with the matte inserts. The Scudetto grill with the dark finishing, the Veloce badge on the fenders, privacy glass, your glossy black painted DLO, your dual colored exhaust tips for the plug-in hybrid Q4, Brembo red brake calipers, and 19 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. Now you also inside get the perforated Alcantara and leatherette seats, which are probably the coolest seats I've seen. The Alcantara dashboard with LED stitching, RHD included, aluminum pedals and door sills, and aluminum paddle shifters. And for your comfort features, everything else on the previous models, plus dual stage valve suspensions. So that is your high end Veloce trim. So with that said, that is the breakdown between each trim level of the Alfa Romeo Tonale as we know it so far. These pages from the brochure tell a lot guys. So I wanna know what do you guys think from the standard Super to the Veloce trim? What do you guys think about what comes on the Alfa Romeo Tonale? Let me know what you guys are thinking about this one down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we have a bigger discussion on the Super, Sprint, TI, and Veloce pack standard contents on the new 2023 Alfa Romeo Tonale. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support your channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much, means the world. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, in case you guys want some long sleeve shirts, hoodies, stickers, tank tops, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. It's everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.